what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial today I just want to show you guys three ways on how to manipulate samples to make them your own I got this sample online I'm gonna play for you guys and there's nothing wrong with that sample uh, you could actually make a beat out of it I just didn't like it uh, so one way you could actually manipulate it is actually click on it make sure you click on this little eye inspector and then go where it says region click on it and here you can mess with it you can actually um, transpose it so you can bring it down and it makes it like a deeper sound and you can just bring it up and down Um, if you don't like making it deeper, you can also bring it up. And you can just give it a different feel. Uh, you can just mess with that. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, like for example, this case, I didn't like none of them. Um, another way is you could actually double click the sample and reverse it. So once that comes out, it usually come out as tracked. But you just click file go to functions and then click reverse and you can just reverse the sample you could also just go back here and transpose it you know I actually like that it sounds pretty cool you could keep that or uh, for this occasion I actually half timed it so I copied the loop down and I just EQ'd it a bit it, so it made it sound like this uh, it's actually reversed let me unreverse it um, I actually just EQ'd it And one cool thing about this EQ, like off topic, is if you go to where these numbers are and you drag it down, you can see a lot of the low end that you wouldn't be able to see if it was just normal. If you had like at the, it starts here, I think. You can't really see the low end unless you bring it down. And you can really just see a lot of it that you could cut out. That's more for like mixing. But, and I just, I, I got this uh, plugin from Cable Guys. It's called the Halftime. I think it was uh, nine bucks, I think. It was worth it though, because it made, I actually liked what it did to this. I kept it on one bar, kept the mix at 100, and the mode at 2x, and it sounded like this. So it just pretty much slowed down the loop and every bar switches up. You can put on half bar, one fourth, one eighth, or every two bars, four bars, eight bars. And you can mess with this. Each each of these things uh, does something different. So right now I have it at, I don't know, perk 13 milliseconds. I don't really know what it does, but you can put on FX. Or you could put on swell and, it, and then the last one is I think it's sustain but I just kept it on here and you could also move the band and you could put like a little melody in the background I just I'm just keeping like this I just want to show you guys these three ways on how to manipulate the sample to make it your own is actually just transposing it you can reverse it or just put the half time on it um, there's plenty depending on the loop you use is what you're gonna use sometimes 
I just leave it transposed. Sometimes I just reverse it or sometimes I just slap the halftime on it. I know that's big right now. It's using halftime. So I just want to show you guys those three ways. Uh, if you made it to the end, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys.